Hello friends, welcome back to the world of meditation for anyone, anytime and anywhere. Continue your meditation with full effort, complete awareness and full concentration on breathing while trying to maintain a state of mind without any thoughts. This is meditation session 3. The nature is the most trusted friend in our meditation journey. Our body is a complex combination of physical form and mind. Look at the vast medical science, which despite such an impressive advancement, is still unable to unravel the mystery of our bodily mechanism. Our body is not something that just happened with our birth. There is a very long history of evolution through our interaction with the natural world. How we evolved from single cell to multicellular, then become monkeys or apes before attaining the current form. It's a long journey. Look at the complexity of the human genome or the blueprint that stores all information of our evo evolution in billions of cells in our body. Human body is such an advanced instrument in the whole world. Each one of us carries the potential and capability to achieve the impossible. Location of the earth in our solar system provides us with a right combination of food, water, air, sunlight and many more elements fundamental for our growth and sustenance. In other words, our body has learned to adapt well with the way nature behaves. Actually, the meaning of the word yoga is the combination or addition that is basic to the existence and the way nature functions. Everything in nature and the whole universe is a combination of one or more items. The conditions in the background resulting in the complex combination of material and not materials have made our existence feasible. It is a vast area to discover. Take for example the food we eat. Look at the journey that a food item takes before reaching our plate. Plant starts its journey as a seed that needs the right combination of conditions like soil, water, sunlight in the right combination. Then there is time it takes for it to bear the fruit. Farmers take care of it, harvest and sell to the dealers. The dealer and supply chain distribute food that we bring home, cook and eat. We hardly think about such detail when eating food. Even the food we eat is going to be a part of our body. The act of eating is in fact a way we are allowing nature to be a part of us. This is just food. Can we ever be able to map all combination of our being? Meditation is all about exploring interdependency and the relationship in, between us and nature. Our true relationship with nature has been masked due to the priorities like education, job, a property, family, and relation, etc. In meditation, we take one step back from day-to-day -day priorities and then take time to understand our relationship with nature, which provides us the right environment to flourish. Consider the real experience of walking barefoot on grass. Feel the experience of nature bath when hiking inside a forest. Feel the heat and cold of the air. Feel the rain and flowing water current in the river, stream, or even from the tap or sour when taking a bath. Experience the taste of food and water. In meditation, we try to establish and understand our relationship with nature in a seamless manner and without any interference. Nature and our body behaves according to the precision of physical science biochemical processes and changes happening around us. It is so well fit and organized. Nature helps us to reach a state of consciousness which is pure and uncorrupted by worldly affairs, our thoughts or logic. Understanding the fundamental truth that we are a small part of natural system will become automatically obvious in our meditation journey. Treat nature 
as our most trusted friend during meditation. Time for exercise. Whenever physical or in right context, try to find some greenery around you, such as trees, grass, park, etc. Watch in all direction and hear sounds around without a thought. Experience the flow of wind, warmth of sun, or anything that is around you. This practice will help you to establish your relationship with nature and eventually develop a sense of gratitude for it. Thank you for listening and sharing. See you in the next session.